Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and following on from my review of the Bataka Mag Easy Case 2, I had some people in the comments asking if there was a more rugged option available that also features MagSafe. Well, not from Bataka, but today we've got two brand new products from MagBack. Now they also offer some really nice accessories and cases for those that are looking for MagSafe on Android, so let's take a look. So today we're looking at both the MagBack case and also the wallet and of course they will both be linked in that description down below. You've got some other options with regards to the finish and colour of both the case and also the wallet and also some other device options as well so be sure to check them out again in that description down below. So first up then we have the case. Now I went for it in this nice blue colour, there are some other options available as I just didn't really want that sort of standard black case that I would normally get. Now with regards to the case features you've also got 22 embedded magnets for that MagSafe support, 360 degree drop protection with a 6 foot drop test. Now yes some people do also do a drop test from maybe 11 feet or 20 feet with some other cases from other manufacturers but for me the highest that I'm actually going to have my device is just here around my head anyway so for me six foot works perfectly fine you've also got a soft touch finish for grip all around and again it may be a little bit slippery for some people and pick up some fingerprints but it does give more grip than what you would have with your phone without a case now it still supports wireless charging which is great to see some of the more other rugged options that you may have available because they are a little bit thicker do actually get rid of the wireless charging support on the s22 plus so it's good to see that it's still here with the magback case and it does also come with the world's thinnest car mount. So this is basically just a strip of magnets that you can attach to your car or any surface really with a 3M strip on the back. So if you do want to have it on your car dashboard or somewhere even around your home, you've got the option to do so. And then this case will magnetize to it very, very strong indeed. No issues with it falling off whatsoever. So again, if you do want to have it maybe in the kitchen, if you do want to watch some videos while doing something there or maybe some recipes, you've got the option to do so. Or even in the bathroom for in the morning or are used as a car mount, you've got the option. And again, it can be used in multiple different ways. And you can also pick up these strips completely separate. So again, if you wanna have multiple of them all around your home, you've got the option to do so. So the case itself fits extremely well to the S22 Plus. You've got all of the cutouts at the bottom that you need for the USB-C and the speaker. And then at the top, you do have that small cutout for the microphone. Now, although the buttons are completely covered, they are still extremely tactile and very clicky, which is really nice to see. Around the front, you've got one of the biggest lay on the table designs that I've seen, although it doesn't necessarily impact using the device. Obviously with Android and the newer versions of it, you do have a lot of gestures where you're swiping in from the bottom or the edge of the screen or the top of the screen. And this isn't really impacted at all with the lay on the table design. Now you do also have a nice cutout along the top for the speaker and also all of your proximity sensors. So again, no issues there whatsoever. However, if you are the type of person that does like to put your phone face down, this is probably one of the better cases to do it with. And then you've got the cutouts all around the back for the camera and the flash side of things. And when this case is on the S22 Plus, it actually reminds me a lot of the S22 Ultra because again, it has those separate cutouts for the cameras instead of one big large housing like you would get without the case. Now you do also have a small MagBack logo on the back there as well, but that's pretty much it when it comes to the branding side of things. So again, a very minimal and very clean looking case overall. And it works perfectly fine with any of my accessories that use MagSafe. So I do have the Pataka car mount in my car currently and this case works perfectly fine with that and again any other MagSafe accessories like chargers, stands, wallet attachments, anything like that again will work perfectly fine and the way that the magnets are set up you do also have that auto align feature that you do get with some of the newer iPhones with the magnet that goes down as well as around so again everything is lined up perfect. And speaking of accessories we do then have the MagBack wallet. So I went for the standard black leather finish with the actual wallet side of things itself and overall it looks really nice. Obviously I did also have a wallet attachment for the Pataka case and it wasn't necessarily the best out there. It covered some of the camera housing, didn't necessarily line up as I wanted it to. However, the one that we've got here works way better. Now the reason for that again is because you do have that full camera housing with the case itself, but just in general it actually feels a lot more secure as well. Now you've got the space here for around three, maybe even four cards and the main card is going to be on the very back because you do have the sort of finger holders I'm going to call it where it acts kind of like a pop socket to help you actually grip your device as well. Your main card is going to be placed there whereas the other cards are actually going to be on the other side so you will actually have to remove the wallet from the case to get access to all of your cards if you need to but again not really too much of a problem. 
And once this thing is actually on the case, it is not going anywhere. So again, putting my finger through the loop on the back of the wallet and shaking it around with the phone in there and the case, it is not going anywhere. It's extremely secure. So again, if you are gonna be using this to kind of maybe help with holding a larger device, for example, you're gonna have no issues whatsoever. Some of these magnets in the case and also the wallet and just in general from MagBag are some of the strongest that I've actually used when it comes to MagSafe accessories. So safe to say, everything's gonna be completely fine no problems at all. And overall, it just gives a very slim, nice profile to the S22 Plus with the wallet case on there as well. Now, some wallet cases are a little bit bigger, some protective cases are also a little bit bigger, whereas this just has a really nice all-round design. Everything's slim, you've got the nice soft touch of the case itself and that really nice leather finish of the wallet. So overall, this is probably one of my favorite all-round accessories for the S22 Plus, having it in combination with the case and also the wallet side of things as well. Now, thinking about it, would I have rather had the black case as opposed to the blue to match the wallet well maybe but i think it has a really nice unique design to it and that's actually going to do it guys for this video a massive thank you to magback for sending over these accessories for review of course they're linked in the description down below but everything that i've said in the video in regards to my thoughts and opinions on these products are completely my own nothing was scripted and nothing has been approved by magback to go on the channel if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you've got any more recommendations on any other MagSafe accessories for Android or even iPhone that I can take a look at, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.